Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you the Enhanced Site Preview in WebSphere Commerce Feature Pack 6. Before I begin, make sure you go ahead and follow me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course my YouTube channel. So we're going to go ahead and start by looking at the Site Preview. So what we do is we got a bunch of options here. I'm going to pick the Aurora eSite. And you can see I can specify the date and time or the current date and time if I'm testing a web activity into the future as an example. And I can also have time uh, elapse as real time elapses as I'm using the site to test the dynamicity of the site uh, based on uh, you know time. And I can also, if I wanted to test ordering products and whatnot, I can set the inventory to true or false during that future because I may not have inventory for a product um, at that you know now but I will then but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as the default and go ahead and launch the store preview okay so here's the site and you can see here we've got some banners here and one of the one of the new things added to the site preview is the show page information so I can come in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the graphics here in the advertising so I can go ahead and show that information live on the site. And what we have here is the eSpot name, which is the catalog banner content. We have the different web activities that are enabled, and essentially this is telling me what won in the, in the hierarchy. Uh, I only have one web activity here, and you can see I have two pieces of content. Uh, it has a priority of one, and it's pretty much infinite as far as time enabled here. And what I can do now in, in this feature pack is I can just go ahead and edit this right from here as a marketing person. So I'm going to go ahead and click at it. It, tell, it asks me what store I want to work in. I'm going to work in the asset store. And this is the activity that I want to modify. So let's see here. What I want to do is I'm going to put a, a new piece of text in the area for uh, active shoppers. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a branch here. And I'm going to put a target on this path. And inside that target, well, actually, let's name them first. So we'll say active shoppers and default so that's kind of what the the rule looks like now and then here I'm gonna put the segment active shoppers so I'll just do active star and it found the segment active shoppers discount and then I'm gonna edit this here so let me make this a little bigger we could see header spot, free shipping, 15% off. So I'm going to remove that one. Then I'm going to search for my active shopper ad. And there it is. We can preview it. So that's basically what it's going to look like. And it will show right next to this one. Okay. So if I go ahead and save this and re-enable it, I can now go over to my customer segments and I can launch the same site preview as we had here as a particular customer segment. So let's go ahead and right click on Active Shoppers Discount and I'm going to select the preview store as a segment. So when I launch this, it's going to launch this in the context as if I had logged in uh, as somebody that's within that segment. Pick the defaults and now we'll launch the store preview. And there you go. So I'm logged in essentially as that customer uh, segment and you see the, the replaced ad. So if I go back in and show the information we can see that it's still the same web activity and now it tells me oh we've entered the path of active shoppers 
go ahead and put this target out there. And this is the recommended content, which is the HTML. Pretty cool. And that's it.